Millions of people in developing countries suffer from health problems. Today, there are more than 7 billion people in the planet, and in 25 years, we will be more than 9 billion people. About 80% of the people of the world live in poverty, and many diseases eradicated in developed countries survive in poor countries. Developing countries suffer 93% of registered diseases in the world and spend less than 11% of the global expenses on health. In addition, there are 120 million people without access to health services for economic reasons and 107 million for geographical reasons. 74% of children's deaths happen in Africa and Southeast Asia. For these countries, it's almost impossible to make significant improvements. So it's expected that developed countries provide not only the monetary assistance, but also professionals to help in these regions. But technologies help us to achieve this goal, because we have the power to help the world to improve this situation. With new technologies, everything is possible. Our project is called Highway to Health. It is a system of specialized care for medical staff who work in disadvantaged areas through a desktop application and via mobile devices with Windows Phone or Windows 8 tablets. We want to bring the assistance of specialists who work in developed countries to the health workers available in those regions. In this way, the inhabitants of disadvantaged areas of the world can have access to the doctors and experience learned in developed countries through the medical staff move to those areas. Nowadays, most of the medical assistance of developing countries is primary care. There are neither specialized medical staff such as cardiologists, dermatologists, etc., nor enough doctors to reach everywhere. The benefits that we get from using Highway to Health are many for the patients. We can improve the diagnosis, we can adapt the treatment by adjusting their cost and we bring this specialized care to any part of the world. Highway to Health provides a system which facilitates the work of the volunteers and the medical specialists with adapted tools to the features of the environment in which they work, as reduced weight, shortage of electricity, and so on. In this way, our project proposes a system that allows to share medical data of the patients, to make available the information gathered from patients to the specialists in any part of the world, with the adequate protection of personal data to remote consultations and video conference with experts from disadvantaged areas, to propose rehabilitation exercises and to control the correct execution of such by patients, to detect evolution patterns of several diseases to prevent them in future. The information in our system is centralized on a server hosted on Windows Azure. It will keep all data used by the other applications with the appropriate security measures and privacy. Our system consists on a desktop application along with Kinect and biomedical sensors which collects and complements the patient's history. A Windows Phone application for medical staff will allow a quick access to patients' records when they don't have a computer or internet access. Finally, from the desktop application, specialists have access to patients' records, to their biomedical data, to their tests or request additional ones, to create and to share rehabilitation exercises and to help them with treatment. The impact on any population where there is a doctor or a charity will be huge. 
They will have access to the specialists that everyone has in developed countries and it provides a second medical opinion. Also, future mothers will have a better control of their pregnancy. Other advantage of our system is that we can improve treatment of diseases like AIDS, malaria, cholera and many others and it improves coordination among charities and medical institutions. This is the login screen. Here the health worker must insert his her username and password to access to the highway to health. This is the main menu of the application. Here the user can access to several modules. This is the module of the doctor. Here health staff can modify their personal data and can also add new patients from the request to their own list of patients. The new patients are added with the Windows Phone 7 application of Highway to Health. When they are added, a new alert is shown in the system and the professional can click on those new patients to add them to his her list. This screen shows the list of patients and when we select one of them, the application shows the medical history and all resources associated to that patient. With the WP7 app, we can select a patient, take a picture, write a note about the picture and save it. We can see in the application a new message that informs us of a new resource for that patient. With a click, we can select the new resource, open it, and write the diagnosis for that patient. In this module, the health professional can create new exercises. These exercises can be assigned to patients. Here, we can watch an example of a health worker recording an exercise. The health worker can place as many points as needed for the exercise. We use the Save button to start a new exercise, and with the Play button, we make the Kinect to start recording. If we push the Start to place a new position, pushing the star many times as you need and pushing the stop to finalize the recording of the exercise. And to end, we write a name and click OK. In this module, the patients and the health workers can learn the recorded exercises by the health professional and then they can repeat and teach those exercises to other patients. This example shows how a health worker chooses an exercise and then repeats this exercise is recorded by the health professional. In the video conference screen, we can see two video screens. In the upper right, we have the local video and in the big one, we have the remote video. This communication process is secure point to point using the ID and password. In this module, the charity workers can see the most frequent diseases in developing countries. With just one click, they can choose the disease among a list of them. If they place the pointer in the orange points, the application shows the number of cases at those places. In 1950, when USA announced the intention to put a man on the moon, many people thought they were crazy. Some years later, they made it. They accomplished 
something extraordinary. Now, we want to fulfill the United Nations Millennium Goals. We want to improve people's health anywhere in the world. We want to be the generation that will help to improve the health of pregnant women who allow children to grow up healthy. Our aim is to obtain that everybody has access to quality health care. Now we have the technology, we have the resources, and we know how to use them to reach these goals. If mankind has put a man on the moon, we can also make many diseases and deaths that we suffer today will be a thing of the past. This is not an impossible path. Our hope and our project, Highway to Health, will help us to achieve this.